వినూత్నమైన ఆలోచనలకు వేదికైంది ఎస్కేడి కాలనీలోని లీలాస్ పాఠశాల నేషనల్ సైన్స్ డే సందర్భంగా ఏర్పాటు చేసిన సైన్స్ ఎక్స్పోలో ప్రతిభతో అందరినీ ఆకట్టుకున్నారు విద్యార్థులు లీలాస్ పాఠశాలలు వివిధ అంశాలపై విద్యార్థులు చేసిన ఆకర్షణలు అందరినీ అబ్బరపరిచాయి వినూత్నమైన ప్రాజెక్టులతో పాటు అడవులు పర్యావరణానికి చెందిన నమూనాలను ప్రదర్శించి కాపాడాలని సందేశాన్నిచ్చారు ఒకటో తరగతి విద్యార్థులు సైతం ఆంగ్ల భాషలో అనర్ఘణమైన రీతిలో తమ ప్రదర్శనలు అందరినీ వివరించారు ఈ సందర్భంగా పాఠశాల ఉపాధ్యాయులు మాట్లాడుతూ విద్యార్థుల్లో నైపుణ్యాన్ని వెలుగుతీసేందుకు ఇలాంటి కార్యక్రమాలు తోడ్పడతాయని తెలిపారు భారీ స్థాయిలో విద్యార్థులను ప్రదర్శనలు చేసే విధంగా తీర్చిదిద్దిన పాఠశాల యాజమాన్యం మరియు ఉపాధ్యాయులను విద్యార్థుల తల్లిదండ్రులు అభినందించారు it is a complex system that includes that that includes many different process it is the most the most evaporation transpiration condensation and precipitation the liquid water evaporates into water vapor and by transpiration the the leaf the the trees release the water vapor into the into the clothes by and by the condensation to form and the and condensation and condensates to form clouds uh, and then by by precipitation the uh, again the again the water again the water uh, water comes to the earth surface in the form of rain or snow the water the water the water is the water is occur because the availability of water is essential for all living organisms the water the water is also called the hydrologic cycle thank you today i am going to explain you about the simple tissue called epithelial tissue epithelial tissues are of four types squamous epithelium cuboidal epithelium columnar epithelium glandular epithelium ciliated is a part of columnar squamous epithelium uh, provides the mechanical strength and helps in absorption cuboidal epithelium helps in the absorption secretion and excretion columnar uh, provides mechanical strength ciliated columnar epithelium helps in the helps in pushing the dust particles from the body glandular epithelium secretes certain hormones like uh, hormones and uh, digestive enzymes thank you sir good morning everyone myself came to us from class 8 this is the model of nervous system just as an orchestra need a conductor all the parts of the human body all the parts of the human body work together to maintain the health of the body well the nervous system is divided into the two parts the brain and the spinal cord makes the central nervous system and the remaining remaining nervous tissues make up the peripheral nervous system the messages from the brain are sent by the nerves to the whole body the mess- the nerve sada sent the nerve sada high speed electrical high speed electrical signals which which pass the messages to the body the nerve send the messages to the body at the speed of 400 km per hour thank you so where it is all the brain from the brain it passes through all the body good morning sir my name is jehu manoj today i am going to tell about chandrayaan 3 Chandra 3 is a mission launched by the ISRO in Sri Hari Kota. It was the third moon mission launched by the ISRO. It is the fourth country to land on the moon safely. Chandra 3 consists of a lander and a rover. The rover consists of four members around it. it there were total 98 members who were controlling the rocket. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Manya from class 9. As today we are celebrating Science Day, the main objective to celebrate Science Day is to encourage our youth on this importance for science. Today I am going to explain about Tesla coil. So Tesla coil is an electric resonant with, which passes high voltage of electricity and with low current. So as we bring the bulb near, near to this coil, the bulb glows. As the high voltage of electricity is passed in this coil and the bulb glows, here, the demi- here it diminishes the light as it, the, as the electric, as, as it glows. So it is mainly used for uh, medical equipment such as electrotherapy and for radio televisions for wireless connection without any wireless connections. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Myself, Neil. Today my project is about lava lamp. Uh, do you know what is lava lamp? 
so let me explain you what is this this is a decorative lamp which was invented in 1963 by edward carl walker um he invented uh, to uh, he invented decorative things to attract people for uh, for uh, for some things uh, uh, you can keep this lava lamp at home at offices to decorate uh, while festivals so let, let me tell you the process uh, they uh, can you see this both liquids the both these both liquids are not mixing with each other why these both li liquids are not mixing with each other uh, because their densities are different from each other the uh, oil oil's density is 0.98 and vinegar's density is 1.006 the magic is the densities are too near then also uh, they they both they both are not mixing that's why the oil is floating on vinegar because of the densities now let me show you the actual process of lava lamp i'll take the vinegar solution and pour it in this you can see the magic this is known as lava Uh, no, as they cannot mix with each other, I added the uh, because their densities are different. The uh, I added the baking soda uh, so to get the water boils, vinegar boils. Oh, here, here water means uh, directly it indicates the vinegar. So they both are not mixing with each other because uh, because their densities are different and they uh, it it is trying to float up and down in the uh, oil. So it's still not mixed up. No. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Sir, myself, Mafi from Glass Nine. Today, my topic is about satellite communication. A communicating satellite is an artificial satellite which helps us to communicate from one place to another place on the Earth through radio, radio telecommunicating waves. There, there are about eight eight thousand three hundred seventeen seventeen satellites present on the Earth's atmosphere. The number of our Earth is the Moon. The satellites which are dead are the, they, they are automatically programmed to fall into the South Pacific Ocean. especially meant for especially meant for those dead satellites which is known as the space space cemetery and satellite helps us to get the signals from signals to computers mobiles etc thank you sir this aaj mohammad ana sahib today my topic is about seismograph uh, seismograph is an instrument that is used to measure earthquakes earthquakes uh, the, it produces seismic waves that are uh, formed on uh, formed because of earthquake The first uh, uh, seismograph were uh, the first seismograph were produced in the 1870s and 1880s. The first uh, seismograph was produced by Filippo Cecchi. Uh, the it uh, the now let us know about uh, how it works. The seismograph it produces it has a solid base and weight hung to it and a pen uh, pen hung hung to throw the weight. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Hadi Mohammad Hamid. I am studying in class two. Today, my science fair topic is about solar system. As there are many planetary systems in the universe, our planetary system is called the solar system. Our solar system is made up of eight stars, eight planets, and countless smaller bodies such as dwarf planets, asteroids, and comets. The sun present at the center of the solar system is the hinge point and source of energy for all planets. The first four inner planets are termed as terrestrial planets because they have solid mass and hard surface. Thank you. We have non-renewable sources. First, we have nuclear energy. It is used to produce zero carbon emission. Next, we have oil energy. It is used in bikes and cars as petrol and diesel it is also a type of fossil fuel next we have coal energy it was before used for burning and cooking things it is also a fossil fuel and is also a non renewable source which cannot be recycled and also pollute the air and have low maintenance cost and at last we have nat natural gas energy it is found deep inside the crust of the earth it is used to produce electricity mostly thank you This is the actual classic study, and now you will speak to you about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process in which all green plants use the light energy of the sun to prepare their own food. 
it it is photosynthesis is very important because photosynthesis is very important because many living things depend on plants uh, on the pla um, plants to for their food so, uh, photosynthesis needs air water sunlight chlorophyll and carbon dioxide chlorophyll chlorophyll is the substance in green plants it is mostly present in the green leaves plants of the leaves thank you Hi, my name is Ahmad from class 6. Today my topic is about food chain. The food chain shows how each organism gets its food in a particular environment. The study of food chain independence the organism in the various type in the various uh, living environment. The paper okay. Uh, note for all the living organisms uh, begin from the green plants. What does it mean? It means all the or all the animals uh, all the animals get their food in the from green plants independent directly or indirectly. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Myself, Sabah Hadia from class six. My topic is about physical features of India. The Himalayas extend from the Indus River in the in the west and the Brahmaputra River in the east. Uh, Himalayas means abode of the snow. The northern plain covers the greater part of the India. It is located to the south of the Himalayas. Plateaus, plateaus are uh, plateaus are located are situated to the south of the northern plains. Uh, it is roughly triangular in shape. The plain, the Rajasthan plain or the Great Indian Desert, co covers the western part of the Rajasthan. It it is roughly rocky and sandy. The coastal the coastal plain extends for about 6,100 kilometers. It it starts from the run of Kutch in the in the west and the in the to the west Bengal in the east. The islands of our India are the Lakshadweep Islands and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Lakshadweep Islands lie in the Arabian Sea, whereas the Andaman and Nicobar Islands lie in the Bay of Bengal. Thank you.